I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions and goals so much. And I'll get to that in a minute. Not that a goal is a bad thing. Having goals are good is a good thing, for sure. My problem is, if you're going to set a goal, why are you waiting for the new year? Why are you going to start next month? To me, if you're going to start a goal, and it can be done today or tomorrow, like it can literally be started, why aren't you starting on it now? Why aren't you starting on it tomorrow? Well, I want to do this in the future. Well, that's that's bad goal planning, saying I'm going to do this or that in the future. I mean, some some big things, you know, you got to graduate college and I want to be the president of this company. Okay, well, that's that's something you'd say someday then. But for the most part, a goal should be done, in my opinion, as soon as possible. Like, what are you, what are you waiting for? Why wait next month? Why wait next year? Why wait till January 1st? Start now. People that are more successful in goals, I think, are people that are going to start now mm -hmm. they aren't gonna let things hold them back because if you're gonna wait to the new year to me that's there's something holding you back I want to go vegan but I don't know when maybe next month maybe two months from now well why why not go vegan now not stop eating animal products today if that's what you want to do so goals should be done within a day or two that you want to accomplish them start if it's possible, you know, there's there's all kinds of goals. Some goals can't be done overnight, but at least start working towards. So I want to lose weight. All right, cut out processed foods today. Throw it out. Give it to your neighbors. Don't don't have that mentality. Well, I need to finish it up. No, don't finish it up. Give it to somebody. Get rid of that stuff. Somebody somebody will take it. Give it to a food drive, even if it's a frozen pizza. Find a coworker or do it today. Start now. Start weight loss today. If that's a goal of yours, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next year. Start today. Cut out processed foods today. Start exercising today. I think another thing that people fail on goals is lack of consistency. So I'm a personal trainer. I have clients. I'll have clients come in and I'll see them for a little bit. And then for some reason, they'll stop coming for whatever happens. They're paying a lot of money for personal training and <clears throat> they want to get healthy. My thought is, you need to have this a high priority. Work, work kept me late. I got stuck in traffic. You got, you got to leave early. You got to make sure you're on time. Um, don't let work leave you late if possible. Say, hey, I'm going to be out 60 bucks. Are you going to pay me those 60 bucks I'm going to miss out on? So consistency is one of the keys, is not giving up. And you need a plan. Oh, I'm going to lose weight. Well, how are you going to do that? All right, I'm going to cut out process. Well, I'm going to go to the gym twice a week instead of once a week. Well, that's probably not the best plan. It needs to be specific, a smart goal. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. And those are all plans, and that helps you have a smart goal. Specific, as in a time frame. Measurable, can I do this? Well, I wanna lose 10 pounds in two weeks. That's really kind of unmeasurable. How about 10 pounds in three months? That's a measurable goal. Attainable, can you reach it? Realistic, it's got to be a realistic goal. And of course, timely, a, a time frame to reach a goal. So what are your, what are some of your thoughts on goals, Sarah? Goals. Just for setting goals. What are, what are your thoughts in general on New Year's goals? Well, New Year's goals, I think, are kind of silly. Okay. People say they're just going to start on January 1st. So, All right, it was getting hot by the fire, so we moved over here. So... New Year's goals are kind of silly because everyone thinks they're going to start on New Year's, but it never lasts. Right. So, the if phase. you're going to do a goal, just do it when you want to do it. Start it as soon as you can. And <coughs> depending on the goal you want, you have to stick to it for it to work. Yep. So, get a person that's going to keep you accountable. Stick with it no, no matter what. Make yourself accountable. Help other people make yourself accountable. And you got to motivate yourself. You gotta, you gotta find what motivates you, why yep. you're doing it. Make a list of why you wanna do this and how you wanna feel and what you wanna be like afterwards. Definitely. And if it's not working, <laughs> say you still don't wanna change, then what's holding you back from doing it? So another thing you could do is write sub goals to reach your main goal. What steps can I take to reach this ultimate goal? And let, let us review again. We're not opposed to people doing New Year's resolutions. No. It's a good thing. What we're opposed to is you're coming out and you're still at the gym a year later. You're still eating healthy a year later. The weight is still coming off a year later. It becomes a short temporary phase for a lot of people and a lot of people mm -hmm. don't go through with it. And 
Why go, why plan this long-term goal that you're only going to stick with for a month? Like, and it's proven. I mean, this is, happens to everybody. So again, we're not opposed to it, but stick with your goals. Don't give up. That's what I want to see when people are doing New Year's goals. I want to see, but if you're one of those people that sets a New Year's goal and you get it done, thumbs up for you. Good job. But I, I guess my problem is, is I feel like a lot of people fail and there needs to be a different solution to not fail. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think you have the mindset to do it right now. But when you have the mindset to wait, I feel like you're not serious enough and you're already setting up kind of for failure. You, you agree? Yeah. If you don't have the mindset of now, have the mindset of now. Don't wait to do your goals. Stay consistent, get them done, set sub goals, be, set realistic goals. I have a client who said he wants to gain 20 pounds. That's a lot of weight to gain. I assume he wants to gain muscle, a lot of muscle to gain. Like to me, that's not a realistic goal. So set realistic goals and don't give up. All right, well, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. We got our Making Veggies Taste Great series here. We'll link that up uh, right here at the end of this video. Go check those out. We're making another four part series this year where you, where they're all plant-based, healthy, veggie-based dishes. Great, great dishes to help you lose weight and stay healthy for the new year. And um, more recipes to come, more great stuff coming. Did a workout video, doing a workout video a week from today. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be very intense. We just filmed it a few minutes ago. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I think 2018 is going to be a great year for us. 2017 was quite the year. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Quite a change for us. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.